Hello everyone. So this is the particular problem that we are going to address today. So here, now when I select an actor, we have this house build option. And here you see I have 200 wood. And if I click, you see the wood count is reduced to 100 because building a house requires 100 wood and it is already subtracted. And for some reason, if I try to place it, in an invalid location and if I click it it's not getting placed but still this cost is reduced uh, deducted from our total wood count we don't get it back so that's what I want to resolve today so why this happens is simply because this is where my build uh, option is executed in this action button here I have this on clicked button and as that happens I call this consume build cost so that already consume it and if we don't have enough uh, resources to build this building we get a false here and we don't get to place building but if we do have enough resources we can we get to place the building but if we try to place it in an uh, invalid location, there is no way to revert this co cost for me. So yeah, let's see how to fix that issue today. Now, before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits. So this is not the only project that I'm doing. I have all kinds of different projects that you can think of in my channel so you can access any of them and here is the full playlist of this series strategy game with C++ so you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself and also if you are interested there is another series that I have, I have implemented a strategy game but there I'm using blueprint so if you are to that feel free to check that as well i leave the links to everything in description below all right now to fix the issue at hand this is what i'm gonna do here let me go to my c++ project and here i have this consume build cost and let me go to the player state header file and similar to this let's add another u function oops let's call it void word well cost and it should pass the same kind of a parameter as consume build cost so let's create this function in my c++ file so actually this is correct this suggestion is correct so all i need to do is uh this is a team map so for each item in this team map i I'm, I'm gonna get the cost and i'm gonna add it back to the total amount of that attribute from the build cost that means if i require 200 wood to build a house if I somehow if the placement of the house is cancelled I should add back 100 woods to my total wood amount that resides as a attribute value in my ability system and after that I should call this on resource changed function so that the change will be reflected on the heart okay now let's go to our base building yeah, CLM base building so this is where I call place building and here here this I have this can't place building this section if can place building boolean is false then I 
destroy the house that I'm showing as the temporary as the house that is I'm going to build in the game and I'm just going to destroy it so here this is the place I want to revert the cost the build cost that was deducted from the total resource values that I had the first thing is we need a way to identify the build cost of this building so for that yeah let me go to the header file of this plan. then let's add a u property Where this pawn name is wrong, this shouldn't be from the type of pawn. So let me call it building. So I need a variable to set build cost table data table that I have created. So you create that table DT build cost. Right. And that another function I said revert the building cost final cost void void revert building placement cost yeah and create this function and here when I identify that I can't place the building I'll call okay now here now that I have uh, I need to assign the data table to this build cost data table when I have the data table there I can access the build cost for this building uh, from the table for that we would need the actor type as a name so we can do it like this f string actor type as we are you enum we are this enough because we have this actor type as a variable House. so we can't directly get it as a name into the name format so we can get that to type string so this will show up like this e actor type colon colon house that's the way it's gonna appear when we convert it to a string but I only need the house part so for that let me add the and we can display it like this. So the clean name str will have the second part which is second part after splitting from this which is house okay now we can access a factor cost
this data type is not here because we need to include the data. Right, so I'll do that. Sell it and then we can dt build first. Find row from the type egg factor build cost and this is how. Okay. Now this would contain the cost that is required to build this building. And then from my player state, I should call this revert build cost so for that i'm gonna need the reference to my player state so drop down it we need to import this that all right Oh, let's just do a simple cast. So like this. Pass to ADAP down player state from the get world, get first plus and player control first player controller and player state and then cast it to this type. After that, alright, then what's remaining is actually reverting this cost. So we should do it here. Yeah. Yeah. Cost. So we do have a valid build cost. We do this within here. That's a simple UE. This reward in building placement cost for this actor type and then state resource cost function should be reward build cost. From the build cost actually we can get we can access build cost like this oh here we got this uh, function is inaccessible error that's because I must have defined it as a private function that's protected okay so let me move it. Okay, let me move this over both to the public section. Right. Now, yeah, there is fixed. Okay, we compile. Okay, all good. Test. What an error. Maybe let's just close this. We will from the Visual Studio. Give it a second to properly close the editor. Okay. Oh, I think one is wrong. Right. Here, note that I have 200 wood. Click 
now it became 100 root and if I place it in an invalid location it's not it's going to crash okay I know where the problem is problem is I didn't assign the data table see crashed well but first I should have done a check if Detail cost is not there, it should return. You should add a warning as well. DT build cost A, cost a is not set. Good. We run again. Now let's open the building. Where's building blueprint? Which is this one? We'll assign it here. We have everything. Now let's test again. Select a character. Note that we have to 100. Click. It became 100. Try to place it on an invalid location. And it's reverted back to 200 because the house wasn't placed. Alright, so the system is working. So here, if I successfully place it, Note that again the wood count is reduced to 100. If I place it successfully, it remains 100 because the actual cost of resource cost of building the house was spent because we all, we did make a new house. So yeah, the system is working as intended. Now this became zero because we I'm uh, going to place a new building, place in an invalid location, back to 100. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's how we do that. So that's actually all I want to do in this episode. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.